Hey guys, Amazing Ampharos here, picking back up with my Final Fantasy IV The After Years play. I'm going to start off by healing up. And then I'm going to be diving into yet another boss fight the extremely powerful Party of Gold. As we come into the Crystal Chamber, we see things are continuing to go awfully badly for our heroes or our villains or whatever we want to call Goldenz's team. And the mysterious girl's back. Even though we definitely did kill her. Apparently we just let her here after we killed her. But we've decided we have a plan to deal with this problem. We'll just kill her again. Personally, I think this is a great plan. But this time she has Leviathan instead of Shura. So instead of her constantly getting these nails and shells, we just have to face Tidal Wave the next time. It's actually not really that big of a deal. If you rely on Pusayati, you keep your health up, you can bring her away with Pyraga and Goldo. And if you get a nice opening, feel free to throw out a uh, flare, because it's still extra damage. Seriously, Cecil didn't seem to pick up on his trip. 
Astral Field isn't even better than the Ice Field. I probably could have gotten that last time, but not really. A good
he's actually an upgrade for Golbez too, but Crucia needs a better armor, a lot more than Golbez does. And while he's going to put you onward, there's no Ragnarok there for us this time. Or Crystal Sword, which we played on the older same day. So, rather than dragging ourselves through the mud of potentially dangerous encounters, let's just get back on track. It's coming for Golden. 
But before we can take our trip down to the Blue Planet, we have a little unfinished business here on the river. Apparently the last crystal shattered, and even though I thought we just killed the guy, according to this game, it was the last thing holding our good friend Zero was back. So, last time you might remember that Goldaz and Kusaya attempted to pass Meteor at the same time to defeat Zero, and it failed this time. In my opinion, we should attempt to do the exact same thing over again. But before we get to that, we need to get slow down, and we might as well have gold as draw the Pyrago like that. And Zero Miss sometimes counterattacks, and other times just throws out bio as much as he wants. But this band is really awesome. It has the effect of casting an Aga with both characters at once. But it has a chance of picking me, which is of course much better than any of the Agas, but without adding any extra cast time or engagement. And we definitely want to see gold that is targeted as often as possible. So that was actually really important. But luckily, Fusayaku can do this. Which is why it's always better for Golbez to be the target, even if it actually does kill it. Another double Pyraga. This may pick up on how much I was enjoying spamming Pyraga throughout the rest of this game. Even though all three of the Agas are pretty much the same. Well, fun Daga. No meteor scrub. But, that's the fight! Wow, this party does games really fast. As Zeromis spouts a bunch of really generic villainous lines, makes the screen flash and all that, Pusia decides that we've had enough business here. It's time to send Goldbeck back down to the planet and have him take care of things. But let's do a little more reminiscing first. I believe the series of scenes actually showed you every scene in the whole from the last game. So if you had any doubt about the backstory that led to him being here, it's going to be gone soon. But 
We can check out the animation while Blazaga and Blazaga. Wow. The enemy party tries with absolute utility to hurt us. And, while we don't get another heavy support from Gold Edge here, if you miss taking him to start of the tail, you can get it here. And this scene really makes me think, too. Why can't we do this? I mean, other than the part where Rydia comes in and causes us a bunch of trouble, Bio, we can equip tons of good stuff. 
but things get really dynamic and exciting when the whole party comes together. So, be ready for it. Even though it will be the Gold Edge show, there's going to be a lot of cool stuff. But with that, I'll see you next time and enjoy the credits.